happy people i'm back with another video and today i have my update for my 30 day challenge you guys um it's been a little bit over 30 days since i started this challenge but i definitely wanted to come and bring you all an update on what i have been using up and what i plan to bring into my 30 day challenge i'm really proud of myself i've been getting through a lot of my products and so i definitely want to share that with you all and then let you all know the new items that i'll be adding in so yeah i want to give you all a quick update on that so yeah y'all know in my last video i think i featured like maybe five or six items from um for my 30 day challenge and what the 30 day challenge is is you'll pick five to ten items from your bath and mighty works collection to use over the next 30 days or over the next month or so so that you can challenge yourself to really start using up your products and moving things out of your collection and so i'm happy to announce that i used up i believe four of the items i think either three or four of the items from that 30 day challenge and so i want to show you all the new items that i'm bringing in First, I want to start off letting you all know what was in my 30 day challenge and then I'll tell you all what I moved out and moved in. And so in my 30 day challenge, I featured uh, hot cocoa. Oops. I featured hot cocoa and cream, the body lotion and the shower gel. Um, and I have since moved the shower gel out of my collection. This is my hot cocoa and cream uh, body lotion. This is where I was at when I put it into the 30 day challenge and as you can see i really did not make any progress on it on at all so i'm gonna go ahead and move this out of my 30 day challenge we're into the spring summer's coming up i'm just not in the mood for this particular scent so i'm gonna put it back into my collection and then save it for next winter um so yeah moving this one out i also had a shunshine mimosa in my 30 day challenge and y'all i'm so excited i'm like dang they're done with this scent y'all see how much i have left I have one more use left in this body spray so i'm super excited to go ahead and use this up and move it out of my collection as well so yeah that's the sunshine mimosa that i had in my um project use it up um i also had vanilla bean noel y'all this scent is a struggle for me like i'm trying so hard to get this scent out of my collection i'm just kind of I'm really over this scent altogether. I'm trying so hard to get it out of my collection and y'all it's just it's just sitting around. Maybe it's maybe it's meant to just like hang around in my collection for a while because every time I try to get rid of this thing and use it up, I can't. But anyway, this is where it started at. It's like the exact same mark. So I am gonna still I'm gonna keep this in my 30 day challenge because I want to actually uh use it up. I'm gonna go ahead and use it as a foot cream. I also had the coco shea honey body oil i'm making great progress on this this is where it was at when i added it into the project use it up and where is it at now and this is where it is at now so i got a few more uses out of this i'm really enjoying this oil so um i'm not in a super hurry to move it out but i'm happy i'm making some progress on it so that's what 30 days of use look like and then the other item that I had in my challenge was the um, the white mint latte candle. I have since burned that. It is all gone. So all the items that I moved out of this 30 day challenge, I'm going to be featuring in an empties video, which y'all is coming up soon. I'm just trying to use up a few more items so I can have a really nice, good, big empties videos to show you all. So yeah, I'm super excited about that video. You all, you all are going to love it and enjoy it. Like I got a lot of products. Like my bin is kind of like overflowing, but it's just a few more items I want to go ahead and add in there so that um, I can go ahead and show you all so yeah so the items that i'm moving into this project use it up so in place of the hot cocoa and cream lotion that i'm taking out i am going to be putting in the gingham um 24 hour moisture body cream um gingham this is in season right now so i definitely want to start using this product and also give you all my thoughts on it so i am going to have a dedicated review of it coming up soon but it is blue freshia white peach fresh clementine violet and clean musk and i will say so far, I haven't actually used the body cream yet, but I have started using the moisturizing body wash and I have been enjoying it. So I'm wanting, I'm, I'm wanting to test these products out a little bit more so that I can give you all my like full review and full thoughts on it. Um, but yeah, so going along with that, um, I replaced my hot cocoa and cream body wash that I finished off with the moisturizing body wash in the scent gingham. So I'm happy to be using these two in, in conjunction with one another. And like I said, once I have my full review, once, I've a once I'm able to test it more, then I'll be able to come back and give you all my final thoughts on it. And so yeah, that's gingham. To replace the Shunshine Mimosa, I am putting in Pear Berry into my 30 day challenge. And y'all, I'm really, I'm really enjoying this scent. I actually have a backup of this in my collection. And I really like this scent a lot. I mean, it's just, it's so good. It's a nice fruity, it's a nice fresh fruity scent. 
it's really really good so i have this that i'll be using in my 30 day challenge in place of the sunshine mimosa and then to replace the white mint latte candle that i finished off i am going to go ahead and bring it to my collection fresh seawalk um this is a candle i hauled from the sas sale years and years ago but um the scent notes on this is seaside orange blossom sparkling bergamot blue cedar with essential oils and Oh, I really love this scent. I mean, it just smells like a fresh walk at the beach. Like, yeah, it is really, really beautiful. Like fresh, clean, open waters. Very aquatic. Like, I really like this scent a lot. So, um, I picked this scent up in particular because there's another scent I have in my collection. It's called, um, it's called Sea Talks. I think it's called Sea Talks or Mermaid Sea Talks. But I really enjoyed that scent a lot. And I picked this up literally because it smelled like that scent. So, I'm going to go ahead and bring it out this summer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring it out this spring slash summer. I was putting it off because, you know, when I ran out of my sea talks, I wanted to have something that kind of reminded me of the scent. But again, you guys, I'm not in the business of hoarding items. Well, I am low key a hoarder, but I'm trying to break out of that habit. And so I'm going to go ahead and just use the item, right? So I have this and I'll be happy to get some use out of it. And then the last two items that I want to add into my 30 day challenge is, um, I have a concentrated room spray here. I've had this like forever. This has been in and out of project use it ups. I don't know why it's taking me so long to use this. I guess I don't think to reach for it. Um, but I kind of had it in the bathroom as like a room freshener and it's a concentrated room spray and it's in the scent mango my time and i while i do really enjoy this scent like i said i always just forget to reach for it so what i plan on doing is i plan on bringing this scent into my nail room essentially um in case you guys didn't know i do do nails on my channel so if you all are interested in checking that content out you can shameless plug okay but yeah so i figured so with my nail journey i'm kind of getting more into using acrylic nails and with acrylic you have to use monomer and that monomer stinks you guys like it is strong like Oof, it's overwhelmingly strong. I always have to crack a window. Sometimes I wear a mask. Like, you know, sometimes my hubby can complain about the smell in the house. Like, it's a really strong chemical smell. And so I figured this concentrated room spray would be perfect for trying to neutralize the smell of that monomer. So um, I'm going to bring this over to my nail room. And I think that I'll get way more use out of it here than I would as trying to use it as like an air freshener or like a room freshener. So yeah, I have this in my 30 day challenge. And then the last item I have here is an item from Zoella Beauty. And this is the gelato, um, the gelato body mist. Okay. And so with this one, it's just a really nice, sweet, yummy scent. And so I really enjoyed using this last spring and summer. And I definitely want to go ahead and bring it back into to my collection and use it up. So currently right now, the item is here. So I've used up maybe like a fourth of it. And so I want to go ahead and use this up. And get it out of my collection but i feel like this is going to pair really good with purberry oh yeah that's gonna be nice together so yeah i'll try to use these in conjunction with one another to go ahead and move these out of my collection and so yeah y'all i think that is it okay y'all so that is all the items that i'm currently going to be using in my 30 day challenge i would love to hear what you all are working on for your 30 day challenge please drop a comment down below let me know all the scents that you all are currently using like how many items are you do you have in your challenge and what scents are you currently using i would love to hear an update on how you all's 30 day challenge is going because you know mine has been going pretty good i'm pretty proud of myself i'm actually moving items out of my collection and in case you all didn't know i also post updates in my community tab um, kind of giving you all updates um, about like how my progress is going with my no buy year and then also with my 30 day challenge. So if you all um, want to see updates more frequently, go ahead and check out my community tab because I'll be posting more updates over there like with pictures and such. Definitely let me know, you know, like I said, how your no buy year is going and how your 30 day challenge is going. I would love to chat with you all down in the comments. For the month of May, you guys, I just want to give you a heads up now. My body care videos are actually going to be uploaded on Sundays of the month of may and that just works out a little bit better for me and my schedule and so for the month of may in particular all of my body care hygiene videos will be posted on sundays instead of saturdays and then after that i'll go back to my regularly scheduled program but yeah y'all i hope you all enjoyed this video i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday saturdays in particular are my bath and body works videos and i'm actually going to go ahead and transition over to just like my body care hygiene videos because i do use other items outside of that so i'm going to be featuring more items and possibly even you know a few hauls from like other places where i 
buy my body care from so just be on the lookout for that so yeah if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you all and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye